look at what they went through. Look at what the fight for equality in education cost us. Monday marks 60 years since the Little Rock Nine were first denied entry into Central High. I remember seeing the National Guard. I remember uh, the Governor Fattis. I remember these things, not really understanding the why all this was happening. Dr. Joyce M. Wilkins graduated high school in 1966 in California, making this an emotional experience for her. Just being here in this um, Central High Museum reminded me of my struggles as a teenager trying to make it, be, having teachers that uh, denied me honor classes, denied me where I could really succeed and triumph and go to college. And her daughter Mashari says the Little Rock Nine's bravery inspires her. Inside they had a reservoir of strength that carried them in a way that's priceless and really kind of truly hard to really explain. But that intangible quality that really brought us to this place, I'm really moved and I'm really grateful and I feel a sense of responsibility to continue to carry the torch. Although this event happened 60 years ago, those nine students are still making an impact today. They were carrying the burden of every colored child back then or African American now on their shoulders and they knew that was the cost of their burden. They knew that.